Good morning everyone. I'm sure that some of you have experienced the same difficulty that one of our clients recently did and that is when AutoCAD updates the customized settings in the quick access toolbar and some of the other settings also get reset to system defaults. Now there is a workflow that you can employ um, to keep this for later or when you update that you can get back your settings and I'll look at that quickly this morning as well as how to add additional commands to the quick access toolbar by using the customizable user interface. Firstly for those of you that don't know the quick access toolbar is situated over here and really what it is all about is that you are able to display some of these commands that are shown by default for instance block preview it then displays on the quick access toolbar for you to access it regardless of which tab you should currently find yourself in in addition to the commands that you can choose to make visible you are also allowed to click or right click for that matter on any one of the commands on the ribbon that you might find and say add to quick access toolbar that will then add the command to the quick access toolbar you might have noticed on dropping down the little arrow at the end of the quick access toolbar you can choose to show it above or below the menu bar and one of these commands over here that says more commands more commands now this is where most people get confused myself initially as well you get to the customize user interface to those of you that access the customize user interface directly it might look a bit uh, pared down and it is so here are all the commands within Autodesk within AutoCAD which you can choose to add to the quick access toolbar reading the instruction you can see to add a command drag a command from the command list pane to the quick access toolbar a toolbar or tool palette sounds easy and follow the instruction and what do we do we say alright I want to add arc so I click on arc and I drag it onto the quick access toolbar but that is not the way that we do it so for anybody that's customized AutoCAD in the past, the quick access toolbar, uh, the uh, quick access toolbar is not the control that you need to use. You need to use the customizable user interface. Customization is all files. So what we do, we expand this top pane, and this now looks more familiar to those of us with experience. To those that are new, it's a brand new world for you. This is the Pimp My Ride garage of AutoCAD and you can basically make customizations to your heart content. Clicking on that arrow there, you can see here is the properties pane for the customization. In addition, you'll see that there's customize and transfer tabs at the top of the command. All right. So this interface you can just as easily get to if you go to your manage tab you'll see customize user interface click on that and it automatically opens expanded alright so choosing to add a new command or more commands is very simply opening up the customizable user interface what you will see on here is that there are workspaces in this case drafting and annotation default and there's also the uh, quick access toolbars in this case there is only one it's called the quick access toolbar and expanding it you can see the commands shown below that if you click on drafting and annotation notice what the workspace content shows that for this workspace the quick access toolbar that is getting used is quick access toolbar 1 which corresponds to quick access toolbar 1. Now, how should you really organize your own workspace? Typically I would say when you start working with AutoCAD 
if you don't see the workspace switching command please go to your customization chevron icon and switch on workspace switching there it is switching or checking the workspace switching will display it in the mode display there it is and then you can save current as I'm going to give it my name Paul or my initials BFS there is my new workspace so what have I done I've created my own workspace in addition to the default that AutoCAD gets installed with were I to make another change to the quick access toolbar then I can just uh, go and have a look at the customizable user interface or more correctly for this blog go to more commands expand and expand so we see the full interface right so here I can see I've created a new workspace and in the new workspace my quick access toolbar that is going to use is still quick access toolbar one you can duplicate the quick access toolbar one and I'm going to rename this PFS QAT and then I can drag it across so that my quick access toolbar that is going to get used is PFS QAT within my workspace PFS alright so that's the typical sort of customization that you can now employ where you want to add any command from the commands available in AutoCAD and you can search for them as well so let's look at line arc, arc was the one that we wanted to draw ARC, there are the specific arc commands and I can now go and drag this command onto my quick access toolbar in a position where I would like to see it there shows the details of the arc command can move it up and down the list having a look at my quick access toolbar on the screen here if I click on apply there it shows the arc command and that is now good okay right so here is our quick access toolbar and now finally we can say alright I've made all of my changes I might have spent quite a lot of time doing this and I don't want it to just go missing once I have uh, updated my software and for some other reason all of the settings go back to to default so there's two things that I would recommend the first is that you can explicitly write this file out to a partial customization file um, to do that again you go to CUI and then go to transfer on the left hand side you will see your current workspace the main customization file acadlt.cuix on the right hand side there is a clean no workspaces here so it's a clean slate and we can now go and, go and say alright so look I want to create a new customization file where do I want to save it I want to save it in my desktop within my folder that I'm working in and I want to say that's going to be my customization files and I'm going to call this PFS that's my customization file I can recognize it by the uh, extension .cuix and I go and say save and then I drag the workspace across from the main customization file onto my partial customization file there it is and immediately it incorporates all of the items that 
make up PFS. After I've done this, so save. Save it over the previous one. Yes. That's it. So the next time that I reinstall AutoCAD or I migrate up to a new version or I do an update and AutoCAD resets the defaults, I would have to go to user interface, go to transfer, open up my customization file and drag. Let's just see what happens if I set this to current in the main customization file and delete PFS from there. Yes. Then I can drag this across and set current. And say so, okay. Okay. There it is. Just have to move it to the bottom of the screen there. Show below the ribbon. So that's great news. Now we can save the customization that we've done to the quick access toolbar. An additional step that you might consider is to synchronize your settings with your Autodesk account, with your A360 account. You can see over there some settings. If you open it up, it opens up the options. You can get to the same place by going to your application menu, dropping it down, going to options. Towards the end you'll see online. That's the same interface. You can see I'm signed in with my Autodesk account. There you can follow it to A360. Here you can say sync my settings with the cloud. Keep all my settings synced. That's easy. Or sync selected settings. Only we can choose specific ones. And if you say apply, it's then going to start synchronizing that with the cloud. And you can see part of that is the customization files. And that should make an automatic process. But if you want absolute control of that, of course, you can follow the manual route, just like we've done during this video. Go to customize, we'll use the interface and save out the partial customization file by dragging over the workspace and saving it out into a standalone file, which you can then back up, put in your server, back it up, and uh, if everything goes wrong, then you can recover from that. I hope this helps you in customizing AutoCAD. Have fun. And uh, keep a lookout for some of our next blogs. Maybe you'll find some interesting information. And uh, until then, goodbye.